The Battle of Valmy was the first big victory for France during the French Revolutionary Wars. The battle between France and Prussia was on the 20th of September, 1792, in the middle of Sante, Manholt, and Valmy. Even though the French lost more soldiers than the Prussians, they won the battle because they would not back down even when the Prussians advanced. The communication between the soldiers of both the Prussian and French armies during the Battle of Valmy was essential for knowing how to proceed with some strategies. Even though the French army mostly consisted of untrained soldiers, the success of the battle was due to their outstanding communication. The French armies winning the battle allowed them to continue the revolution by holding off the Persians' invasion of Paris. A convention was able to officially declare France as a republic. On May 5th, 1789, the French Revolution began. The rich upper class oversaw the work of the poor, who worked very hard for little food or pay. As France went into more and more of a financial debt, the upper class raised taxes on the poor. As things got worse, King Louis XVI summoned the Estates General, made up of the three estates, to decide what to do about the debt. They used a voting system to decide. In this system, each class had one vote, giving the third estate, which was 98% of the entire population of France, only one vote. The third estate realized this was unfair, so they formed their own government, the National Assembly, which was founded on June 13, 1789. The king did not want to join the National Assembly, however. In relation to the king not joining, on October 5th, 7,000 women marched from Paris to Versailles to confront the king, picking up more and more people along the way. This was called the March on Versailles. One of the people who started the march was actually a man named Stadis Marie Mallet, who testified about the action in court. They managed to bring the king from Versailles back to Paris and give him a new position sharing power with the revolutionary government. In 1792, France declared war on Austria in hopes of unifying the country over war, but they ended up losing the battle immediately. Then, Prussia joined Austria in the war, and they continued to close around the French. The National Assembly, now the National Convention, declared the French Republic and stripped away King Louis's title. The radicals in the new government took control of the revolution, causing Prussia and Austria to sign Declaration of Finnes in August 1791, inspiring outside armies to restore the monarchy to France. In the many regions, Prussia, Otto von Bismarck engaged in war with France to draw out four independent southern German states: Baden, Wattenberg, Bavian, and Hasdarmat, into an alliance with the North German Confederation, which was mostly led by Prussia. The French Emperor, Napoleon III, was told that the French army could defeat Prussia, and such a victory would restore his declining popularity in France. In many regions outside of Paris, there were still many people that loved the church, and didn't like how the revolution was going against it. So, there were many counter-revolutionary uprisings. Then came the Battle of Albany. The revolution had, was passing into the radical, its radical phase by 1792 and the king was, was still alive but this was basically the, the end of the monarchy was soon to, to follow uh Avalmi and and louis the 16th would be executed in, on january 21st 1793 but the revolution was opposed by the other kings in europe and the french revolutionaries faced an invasion by in this case prussian forces and they would soon be facing counter-revolution in the west known as the War of the Vendée, but it wasn't just in the Vendée, uh, and also the Federalist Revolt in a number of commercial cities like Caen and Marseille and Lyon. So the Battle of Valmy was an important moment because they defeated the Prussians uh, in this important battle. Because there were three different armies against the French revolutionary forces, Prussia, Austria, and French soldiers who were loyal to the monarchy, the chance of the revolutionary French winning seemed to be impossible. Those allies in the battle had about 34,000 soldiers on their side, with the revolutionary French having about 54,000. But due to a lack of communication, one of the French commanders, Kellerman, had accidentally deployed soldiers in front of the other commanders, de Maurier, so they only had about 32,000 soldiers. There was also a swamp in between the two, so de Maurier could not do much to help Kellerman. The battle was set on September 20th, 1792, and ended that same day. It took place as the Prussian armies were coming to take over Paris, de Maurier and Kellerman's armies were set on the same path, allowing the two to meet. Unlike the Allied armies, the French armies were almost all untrained soldiers. They were volunteers or part of the old Royal French army. 
The battle took place because the Duke of Brunswick wanted to reinstate King Louis XVI as the King of France because Meritich believed that the only hope for the continued existence of the monarchy was to seek accommodation with Napoleon. He decided to do this by marching on Paris. This also seemed to have decreased their chances, but they still won the battle and the following one in Lille, plus many more battles. Part of this had to do with their communication. The Prussians thought that the French would back down, but they held their ground and continued to fight. If it weren't for the soldiers' communication and understanding to each other to stay where they were, they would have surrendered. They also communicated by singing their national anthem during the battle, which showed more enthusiasm than had been seen for generations in European battlefields. The French had about 300 casualties, and the Prussians had about 180. On the battlefield, there was a windmill that Kellerman ordered to be burnt down so that the Duke of Brunswick's army couldn't use it as a landmark to end their artillery towards. The windmill has since been rebuilt. In the USA, they had been allies with the French. They believed that the king should have handled this all differently, as shown in a letter of communication from the American revolutionaries, which said, They proceeded to fix the order in which they will take up several branches of their future constitution, from which it appears that they had been built from the bottom, confining themselves to nothing in their ancient form but a king. Governor Morris of New York and George Washington you will have seen that the king is accused of high crimes and misdemeanors. He wished for a good constitution, but unfortunately he had not the means to obtain it, or if he was thwarted by those about him. The Battle of Valmy was the first battle of the First Coalition. As the battle was being fought, the National Convention met in Paris to declare France a republic. After France won the battle, the Prussians finally withdrew from the battlefield, and writer and statesman Jean Wolfgang von Goethe told Duke Karl August of saxe weimar and his Prusso-German staff, from this place and from this day forth commences a new era in the world's history, and you can all say that you were present at its birth. Balmy also gave the French inspiration until the end of the revolution. After the Prussians retreated and the towns of Longwy and Verdun were recaptured by the French, the battle helped continue the revolution because of the enthusiasm communicated from the battle. They were ready for more invasions to come that year. General Francisco Christophe Kellermann was also appointed commander of the Army of the Alps, a French revolutionary army. His rank was given to him because of his work at Valmy. Propaganda was at a high with information communicated about how the French were heroes and how they fought with dignity and pride. It was also declared at the end of the French monarchy at the National Convention just two days after the battle. Some of the members of the National Convention wanted to deport King Louis, but the leader of the Radical Jacobins Club, Maximilien Robespierre, and others decided that they had to kill King Louis so that he could not be reinstated. This was influenced by Valmy, as the Austrians and Prussians said that they would reinstate him. They had a vote and decided that Louis would be killed by the guillotine. This vote was won by only one vote. Then the Radicals took control of the government with Maximilien Robespierre as one of the leaders. Afterwards, the period known as the Reign of Terror began. From September 5, 1793 to July 27, 1794, about 40,000 people were killed, mostly by the guillotine, who were said to be enemies of the revolution, including Queen Marie Antoinette. Finally, on July 28, 1794, Robespierre was executed by the guillotine on the National Convention's ruling. The Battle of Valmy saved the revolution, which had lasting effects on today, as France would not still be a republic if it was not for the battle. A republic is where the supreme power is held by not one person, but by the people and their elected representatives. This is what the French were building towards, and if not for the Battle of Valmy, it would have been a lot harder to declare France a republic if there were Prussian troops invading Paris. The battle saved the revolution because if they did not win the battle, the Prussian forces would continue to march to Paris and harm the revolution. The battle allowed for much more freedom for the people because to this day, they are no longer under the rule of the monarchy and have a semi-presidential republic with the president of the republic, head of state, and a prime minister. They are also now part of the European Union, which includes the past enemies of the revolution, Austria and Prussia, and they now communicate with their allies through the Union. The Battle of Valmy was the first battle of the First Coalition. During this battle, the French communicated an understanding in ways that allowed them to succeed in the battle. They chanted the new French national anthem, which showed their determination to win the battle and the rest of the revolution. 